Hey guys, it's Taylor. Thanks for joining my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Um, today, I have been really just, you know, embracing the new year. It's 2019. Um, I think it's going to be, you know, the year things finally come full circle. And I'm speaking that and believing that. But I've also been doing a lot of reflecting. And 2019, like, I just feel like time is flying especially because my 10 year high school reunion is this year. Let's have a moment of silence for that. <laughs> I just feel like I'm, okay, so I'm 27. I'm a Taurus, my birthday is April 23rd. A little bit about me, I know I haven't ever done a get to know me because I am gonna wait to embarrass myself and just do it once when I have more of a following on here, but it is freaking me out. <laughs> I'm 27 and my teen year high school reunion is this year and I didn't actually wear makeup in high school. Like I, I maybe at the most, if anything I did like just you know lip gloss and maybe eyebrows. Um, I can't even really remember. I just know that whatever I did it wasn't good <laughs> and it wasn't much. Um, I know I never bought any of my own. I always just stole some of my mom's. Um, other than lip gloss, of course, I always had lip gloss even throughout middle school because dry lips freak me out. Like, this is the driest I can ever allow my lips to be or it freaks me out. So, um, anyway, not to get off topic, but I was thinking, I was like, wow, now, like, I love makeup and that's what, uh, obviously, this channel is majority about. So, if I was in high school, what would have been my go-to look and I'm thinking it would sort of be still what my go-to look is now because I, I think your go-to look is whatever you feel is easiest but still gives you the full benefit of like wow I feel cute today and if you can't tell I'm pretty like low-key today as it is like in my oversized denim jacket and I'm feeling pretty 90s and I, I was born in the 90s, so I just feel like my go-to look is sort of like 90s. And I'm always, like, if I'm running out the door, literally, I always have something, a variation of the look I'm about to do. Um, so, that's what I'm gonna go with. And it's going to be interesting because I'm, I was just thinking, you know, what would it be if I actually wore makeup in high school? Like, what would my go-to look be? And I really feel like this would be it. And I also feel like it's a very 90s look, which makes sense as I was born in the 90s. And I loved the 90s where we could, you know, wear all the oversized baggy clothes and still be very, like, cute. I call it swaggy now because, like, every time I do that now, I, I associate that to, you know, my, like, Rihanna swag. Um, that I try to take on but really it's like the 90s slide too so it fits either way you put it it fits let's jump into it it's a very quick easy look so I feel like it's a winner um, for your go-to your everyday type go-to look or if you're you know new to makeup it's very easy so um, let's get into it so what decade were you guys born in comment down below I want to know what is what decade were you born in and what was like your favorite makeup like era so in high school i wouldn't be doing like full coverage glam and in the 90s nobody really did that either it was like i feel like the bare minimum to have like a complete look so that's why i'm going ahead and putting on my concealer now like usually i put on a layer of foundation and then concealer on top um, but I'm not gonna do that this time. I also feel like in the 90s there wasn't a very accentuated arch of the brow. It was very just smooth, slight arch. And if I was doing makeup for high school, I wouldn't be so much focused on perfecting those brows and spending so much time on it because Lord, if anything hasn't changed over the years it's me running late <laughs> I 
and I'm going to do a powder contour because I feel like in the 90s we also never seen like a very harsh unless it was with blush versus an actual contour color <laughs> but we never seen a really harsh contour it was more just a very prominent jawbone with full of that awful bright blush but if this is my high school look as well I would just do I wouldn't wear blush but I would definitely use a little contour Everybody was very matte in the 90s too um, so I'm gonna keep it matte today and for the eye look so I was really stuck between two ideas because I do feel like if people did wear shadow but it was usually like thrown on looking and it was always just like one color so I would just do like a brown or like maybe just a shimmer on the lid but I honestly do think um i might keep it like this nude eye look and um just do like liner around the eye accentuating my eye shape because that also gives me like the youthful feeling and what i feel like i would have done if i didn't have time to like play with any eyeshadow and usually <laughs> to be honest back in the day like i had the worst time getting eyeshadow to even show up like the pigment because i didn't know how to apply it so I probably would have not even messed with eyeshadow on a daily basis because every time I did it was pointless I would spend 30 minutes trying to do it and it still wouldn't show up so let's just move on to liner and I am gonna do lashes even though I don't know if high school Taylor would have worn lashes I know she would have wanted to because I've never had long lashes like ever but because of how much I lacked in the makeup application world I probably would not have figured out how to apply lashes um, and I'm thankful for that now looking back at old pictures because they probably would have been looking crazy so we're just gonna fast forward into 2019 for the lashes part but otherwise it's still going to complete the look we're going for I usually think that with a nude eye, a dark lip is cute. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the dark lip because if I'm being completely 90s and back to old Taylor and what she would have done, the brown lip liner and gloss was my dream. When I was young and wasn't allowed to wear makeup to school, like super young, I saw my older cousin do that every day. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot wait till I can wear makeup because that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Everything, like I just loved it. So I have to stick to that. And that is the completed look. Super simple, right? But I feel completely 90s. And my lashes aren't completely dry yet, but other than that, that's really the only difference um, between this being a complete look for me. I honestly feel like I would go handle some business if it's super like 
low key, why not? This is the perfect look to do that. Um, literally only like 10 minutes I feel like, maybe 15, depending on how much I talk. Um, but the only difference between this and what I usually do is an inner corner highlight. And of course highlight. So that's really the only difference. So that's how I know it is still like my favorite and my go-to. I know this lip is, um, even though I usually have a darker brown that I just couldn't find today, but it still does the ombre type of effect that I love with the gloss. It's a winner, I promise you. And for those ladies who want the juiciness or the fullness of their, of their lip to really come to life, Always try the ombre look. If Even if it's a red, get a dark red, get a burgundy and go to bright red. Um, get a darker pink and go to a light pink. It just gives you that contour lip look, which is what, you know, the craze is right now. Um, but I, I found it beautiful in the 90s and I have full lips. So I think it's a tip that will never die and it's amazing and it looks amazing. So try it out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know down below what decade you were born in and what's your favorite makeup era if it's the 90s if it's the modern day and ages if it's now what is your favorite makeup trend um and era that you are a complete fan of no matter what let me know down below and see you next time bye